Hello, I'm James Hill. Welcome to my demonstration video for the first Scripting 3 assignment. The brief for this assignment was to create a level in scripts demonstrating the use of a finite state machine. Using the Neverwinter Nights 2 toolset, I created an appropriate level within the parameters set in the brief. The styling is designed to fit in with the fictional world of Neverwinter Nights 2. I then used the script editing software in the game, along with the online resources provided, to practice and get to grips with the language. The initial scripts were created in a test level which was smaller and more basic than the final article. When the player begins the level, the character is in the hallway at the Wizard's Academy. The entrance door is locked and displays a message telling the player they cannot go back that way. At the other end of the hall is the door leading to the objective. A wizard is waiting at the door to greet us, but let's ignore him for the time being. If we try to enter the door before speaking to him, it is locked and a message displays hinting the player to talk with the wizard first. When the player interacts with the wizard, he will ask whether or not they would like to be shown through to the arch wizard's office. Decline and the conversation will exit. Accept help from the wizard and he will unlock and open the door. He follows waypoints to a path node and stands in his section of the office at a bookcase. As seen here, there is a script keeping the door from locking again if the player should shut it accidentally. When clicked, the wizard will now simply usher the player on. The arch wizard is in the next room which is appropriately decorated. Once again, if the player tries to open the door on their own, a hint will display. The arch wizard has a lot to say. If we decline the wizard's offer, the conversation will quit after a short line from him. The detail of the conversation can be skipped by selecting the second response. This accepts the mission and skips the debriefing about the potion and sword. The wizard casts a spell on the player. The script triggers effects, messages and character buffs. Once the player has spoken to the archwizard, clicking him again will result in a hint to move onward. The door will now unlock and open when the player triggers it, with a message saying the door opened magically for effect. The chest will now also have unlocked and its contents can be examined. To make the level a little more interesting, the area the player will teleport to has some enemies, two goblins and a goblin lord. The sword serves the plot and gives the player a means to fight the creatures. Now the player can take the items and equip the sword in the inventory. Drinking the potion triggers the teleport sequence. Once in the crypt, the player can fight the enemies. The fights can be lengthy, but as seen here, once the final boss is dead, a quest complete message displays and the level ends. That concludes my demonstration video. Please find the scripts and module file attached. Thanks for watching.